What is going on guys, MJ2205 Gunnip here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a short video addressing the news drop for today. Starting us off with the title cards for the three Gundam animated works coming in 2022. To begin, we have the animated series called Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. Now immediately it struck me with Gundam Valpurgis vibes, but I have no clues as to which timeline it takes place in, nor do I have a clue about the synopsis, and there's no way to tell before more news is announced but just know that a new Gundam anime is going to be coming in 2022 before we get Will Hathaway's Flash Part 2. Moving on we do have another movie, another Gundam movie called Kukuro's Dones Island. Now from what I've heard there is a manga series of the same name under Gundam The Origin. I don't know if they're going to be adapting that because there is an actual episode in Mobile Suit Gundam of the same name so I don't know if it's going to be a reanimating of that episode but a probably more likely an adaptation of the Mobile Suit Gundam the origin mangas of the same name I'm not really too sure correct me if I'm wrong but all we have is the information that we have right here a new movie called Kukuro's Dones Island and surprisingly Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Uruzu Hunt is going to be getting a special edition TV broadcast to accompany this is a big one it's mobile app release now we finally have a release date of the mobile app after what is it like um 4, years so it is going to be a 2022 spring release so expect the app to come in between march and may or even before that i don't know what they classify as spring so it's up in the air currently but it's definitely gonna be in the beginning of 2022 before we get to enjoy this app for ourselves as much as you can enjoy a turn-based rpg game in gundam form because it, it honestly feels underwhelming when i've seen the gameplay in the last iron blooded orphans fifth anniversary stream now we're going to be able to enjoy multiple storylines in this app first of all it's going to be the uruzu han storyline the original one and of course we do have the Vanilla Gundam Iron Blood Orphans storyline. Now, because the Astroworld and the Granbury are going to be added into the game, I suspect we do have the Gecko storyline we could enjoy in a different form as opposed to Cross Race if you're not a fan of SDs. Now, I did mention that the app is going to be having an accompanying animated release. It's going to be having nine episodes. I don't know if it's going to be a mini series or a proper series, but it is going to be illustrating the events of Uruzu Hunt as suggested by the very choppy translator right here. So if you don't play the game, you are still going to be able to enjoy the story of Uruzu Hunt in animated form. And now because we do have a release date to look forward to, maybe they're going to be releasing more designs along the line for us to take a look at. For example, probably more Gundam frames and maybe more Gunpla because I really do want the Enzo and the Schwab custom and probably a design for the mobile armor that they're gonna be fighting in the Uruzu hunt probably the target that they're hunting down during the hunt who knows but I'm definitely pumped for this tell me in the comments what you think and yeah finally we are gonna be getting a one-to-one -one statue of the new Gundam which is gonna be dubbed the RX 93 FF in Fukuoka's Lala port. I don't know when this is going to be fully built. This is maybe just a concept for now, but a one-to-one -one new Gundam marks another spot in my journey to Japan whenever this pandemic ends and whenever I'm able to go to Japan for one last time before I immigrate to the UK. I really want this thing to be complete just so as to mark another landmark for me to visit, but we're going to be getting a one-to-one -one scale new Gundam in Fukuoka. That's going to be very interesting to see considering that I've seen the Unicorn Gundam, but another landmark nonetheless. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this batch of news. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Uruzu's Hunt app, judging by what we already know? And what do you guys think about the upcoming animated series that is going to be coming next year? If you thought this year is going to be one hell of a time to be a Gundam fan because of the Gunpla that's going to be released, take a look at next year. That's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunpla reviews, Gunpla news, and all that kind of stuff. Turn on notifications for future content alerts if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hang loose and peace out.